time, please to introduce our next speaker, Sam Meese. Yeah. Hi guys. So, I asked my dad a few days ago what a good joke would be to start the speech off with. And, well, he just kind of sighed and said he'd get back to me, so. Didn't really get anything, so I just have to start it the way I was going to start it. Hi, I'm Sam Meese, and I'm a member of the graduating class of 2017. After being in the Oregon School District for 12 years, and attending Oregon High School for four, I can safely say high school will not be the best use of my life. I mean, it won't. It probably won't even be top five, but... Now, I know what some of you are thinking, the ones who weren't laughing. Um, oh, why is this kid dissing high school? That's so disrespectful. I'm not dissing high school. I'm, I'm, in fact, I mean, high school was a pretty pleasant experience for me. Over the last four years, I've been involved with a lot of clubs, participated in both band and orchestra. Hey guys. Um, performed in school plays and musicals, ran track, played ultimate frisbee, and football. Yes, as surprising as it is, this small boy played football. <laughs> but these last four years will not be the best years. I mean, do the math. If, if these were my best years, that'd mean I'd peak from the ages of 14 to 18. <laughs> and if the average American lives to be 78, that means the next 60 years are all downhill. <laughs> no, I don't want that. I want to keep growing. Not physically, although I'm still a bit scrawny, and if I was taller, I probably wouldn't be so awful at basketball. But growing into a better version of myself, it's cliche, I know, but don't tell me out just yet. You see, life's all about moving forward. It's about building yourself into a better version of you. It's about doing what you love, being with the people you love, and not lingering on what you've done, but instead of focusing on what's next. It'll be easy in the future to think to yourself like, in high school, I was an all-conference athlete, or in high school, I had a 4.0 GPA. These, of course, are impressive feats, and maybe you'll use uh, these accomplishments in the near future to bright the family friends at graduation parties, or to impress a cute waitress at Perkins. I, I don't know. But as impressive as you may think these feats are, they do have an expiration date. I mean, you may be proud of your high ACT score, your extracurricular achievements now, but is that really what you want to be talking about in 10, 20 years? Or even in six months? I mean, let's be honest, whether you're going into higher education or the workforce, not a lot of people are going to be interested in hearing about your high school accomplishments. There's not a lot of college professors who are going to care about the A you got in history class, or bosses who are going to care about how many baskets you made your senior year. Which, by the way, I was on the CYO basketball team, made six shots, so, whew! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, <Yeah. laughs> And don't get me wrong, accomplishments like these are awesome and great. You by all means should be prideful of these accomplishments and cherish the memories you've made these last four years. But you don't want to linger on them. You don't want to spend your time recalling those past achievements when you should be out achieving more. If you linger on what you've already done, pretty soon 20 years will have passed by and you'll be in some bar sloppily talking to the, about your glory days to whatever poor sap sat next to you. Yeah. And this doesn't just apply to the last four years, it applies to college, work, you can't linger on any of these. Because the instant you decide to stop moving forward, it's the instant you've peaked. It's the instant that you admit your life has reached its greatest moment. Now your life will never be as great as it once was. Like I said, if you peak in high school, that means the next 60 years are all down from hill from here. And I don't know about you, but even though high school has been relatively pleasant for me, I definitely don't want it to be my peak. I mean, I spent half of high school with long, greasy hair, a bad <laughs> attitude, and a fear of talking to girls. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go downhill from that. <laughs> That's why you gotta keep moving forward. You have to always look for what's next. What's gonna make you as a person better than your current self? 
because your peak is solely dependent on how high you decide to climb. Yeah, I wrote that. That's, that's cool. <laughs> so as I said, these last four years will not be the best years of my life, and they shouldn't be for any one of you. We have a whole lot of life ahead of us, life outside of OHS, life full of adventure and accomplishment and growth. Life not spent lingering over these last four years, but pushing forward for the next 60 years to come. Let's take, a, let's take what we've learned here and who we are and start making ourselves better. Let's keep moving forward and growing as people. Let's always try to top our greatest accomplishments so that when we look back at our lives, we can be able to say, high school is not the best years of our lives. Thank you. It is now my sincere pleasure to introduce our final student speaker, 